why a Cornerstone is a Cornerstone. This is the top of the line sure. Integra available. That is what improves the ride. Everything down here is fixed. Everything up here is separate. The two travel nicely together. The biggest engine that anyone is installing in an RV right now. So if there's one piece of advice I could give, the more comfortable you are, the safer you are. Hey everyone, Izzy from Endless RV. I'm here with Kyle at National okay. Indoor RV Center in mm -hmm. Las Vegas. Behind us is something that has not been seen on YouTube yet. It's a 2023 Integra Cornerstone, the 45 W. w. Brand new floor plan. Kyle is the expert. He's going to take us through a full walkthrough and explain what is going on with this cornerstone and what has been changed for 2023. Yeah, there's a lot of exciting changes coming out for 2023. And when we say this is new, this is new to us too. It just arrived here uh, two days ago. And Ted Cook, who is our rep from Integra, came out to go over some of these changes with us, which is why it's kind of fresh in my mind here. I am in Las Vegas. I'm from Middlebury, Indiana, which is where this was birthed. Moved out here to help National Indoors open up this newest location. Been here for four years and we'll never go back. Absolutely <laughs> love it in Las Vegas, love the desert life. Now, where are we physically? We're within our paint department. So as you pan around, you'll see uh, we have some dust screens up. Those are to keep any work that we're doing from going over into our other units and kind of building up on our storage stuff. Paint correction is where the stage that we're at right now. A coach lands from the factory. We're gonna wash it. We're gonna inspect it for damage, which I already see on this one. We've marked up the windshield as having some scratches. We don't wanna pass that along. We wanna get that fixed before the new owner comes in and takes ownership of the coach. We catch things like that on what we call the initial check-in. It gets washed and then a technician within three days is the goal, is going to go through the coach and do a full pre-delivery inspection where they write up any issues that they find so that we can get those parts on order if parts are required. They'll make the fixes immediately if there's no parts required. After that, the technician is gonna write up the coach uh, so that they can send those stories on to Integra and say, this is what we found. And then Integra is gonna give us approvals for those things to go ahead and make the repairs. While that's happening, it does come to our paint department. This being a very high-end coach, Integra is choosy about where they send the work to get done. And so there's actually just one shop that handles all the cornerstones, which is why you're gonna see very little markup on this. In fact, so far, the only thing I've seen is the tag on the uh, windshield. And then there's a tag at the entry door that may be from excessive rubbing or buffing, but they're gonna go and fix that. And then we'll look for those little green tags anywhere else that we see them. And that's work that we're gonna do here in house. So right up here, one of the most exciting changes is gonna be the cockpit. You're gonna see a lot of things. I can tell this is a 2023 because in front of the driver is a large screen and there's another screen over here that we'll see when we go inside. This camera is not the mobilized system that you're familiar with. This is actually a sensor for the windshield wiper it's gonna tell it, hey, I've got a certain amount of rain coming down and it analyzes and turns it on to the correct speed. It does know the difference between just getting splashed by a truck that passes you. It'll wipe, come back down, determine if it needs to happen again, and then automatically stop. So that setting is adjustable, but it's fully automatic and it's gonna adjust the speed and everything you need for you. And now, that's brand new. That's if you put it in auto. You, do you still have the ability just to click if you don't yep. want that? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, I always like the, especially the newer Integras with that mm -hmm. nice C LED. Mm -hmm. When you go to the campground, it yep. lights everything up. It's really, uh, really nice. And this is the top of the line cornerstone. Integra uses a uh, seconds paint. They don't do it in house, but like you said, they send everything out and the place that they go to is all they do. They do a really excellent Correct. job. So why don't you take us down the passenger side and just get some of the highlights for anybody who's out there who wants to know like why a cornerstone is a cornerstone. This is the top of the line sure. Integra available. Sure, so we can start by looking at the tires and, and just take a look that this has the 365s. And so that's gonna be like wearing a heavy duty hiking boot. It's gonna absorb impact for you. It's gonna improve your ride. It's a wider stance. And so it drives differently. And unless you've driven one, it's hard to explain. So do come on out and drive one. I always encourage people to drive a couple of the different lines with a couple of the different engines to really know what you're getting when you go with a 605. 605 is the biggest engine that anyone is installing in an RV right now, it's very adequate. I mean, it is more than enough to go 75 pulling your vehicle and not slow you down at all. It can get away from you because there's enough power, but 75 is what we always recommend as a maximum speed. Some of the safety features for 2023 that have changed is the way the 360 cameras give you feedback. So you'll see one of those cameras that's mounted up here. As you're looking at your 360 view camera, which is on that console to your right, you're gonna see three different bars up and down the side of the coach. Those bars turn red when someone is in that blind spot. So it's more detailed feedback than what you're used to. It's not just the one camera showing you that there may or may not be somebody. It 
actually lights up and is red to show you where they may be. Because when you're on a 45 foot coach, relying on one camera that's mounted here to see 45 feet behind you isn't enough clarity sometimes. So one of the big advantages when you get a coach like this with the raised rail chassis is that you have massive storage. And of course this is 45 feet. And just look at the amount of storage in here. If you want to talk a little bit about this, I mean, there's a lot of stuff you could put in here. Yeah, so you're going to see the X bracing. X bracing is something that Integra does with the chassis before they build on it. You'll see an X, which is why it has its name. And then there's going to be a lot of X's that you don't see, like underneath this carpeted finished area. You're going to have X's that are like this, and you're going to have X's up on top. That's adding stiffness to the frame. That is what improves the ride from Integra so much, is that everything down here is fixed, everything up here is separate, the two travel nicely together. All right, this is what we call our service center, and this is uh, Integra builds exclusively on the Spartan chassis, and they're going to try and make everything easy to get to. So your uh, breakers for the engine batteries are right here. If you're going to be storing the coach or parked for a long time, you can just throw those so that you don't have a drain on there. Your air dryer is right here. Everything you need for your annual services are, are located right here where they're easy to get to. It just makes it so much easier for our technicians. 605 engine. This is a big boy. This is as big as they come. You can see the Dynamat coating along the back to help shed some of that noise that this thing generates, and it's a big engine. We actually shut it down for the filming of the video just so we wouldn't be overwhelmed by it. The really cool thing about a diesel pusher, of course, is that it's 45 feet behind you. So when it's running up front, you don't really hear it. And as you're traveling down the road, you don't hear it at all. 20,000 pound pull capacity on this, and you're already set up for air braking, and you've got your uh, seven pin connector there for any sort of trailering you might do as well. This is capable of handling anything that you would need from a stacker trailer to a motorcycle lift kit. Whatever you want to put on the back, the 605 is ready for you. Minor point here, but it is worth pointing out because it's something that the engineers have thought of, and so they're gonna appreciate it if I share it with you. We've got a side-mounted radiator, which everybody does. These gills are faced forward here to help with that airflow intake, and they're deflected not from the ground up, but to the side. That way you're absorbing as much of the cool air as possible. You're not pulling it from the heated asphalt. We're from Las Vegas, we're hyper aware of that. On a hot day, put your hands near the ground, not on the ground, and you'll feel how much heat is radiating up off that floor. That's why they went with this vertical slats. here I have the air conditioning on and you're gonna enjoy that so here we are on the inside of this 23 cornerstone. This is where most of the excitement is gonna be for the model year. As you pan around and look at the W floor plan, you're gonna notice how open it is. We're gonna have a TV that pops up on a televator here, but we've got lots of comfortable open seating. Who's this stranger well, that's sitting here? This is Brett, this is where he hangs out. Brett, is this, <laughs> is this the model of coach that you're in right now? It is. It is. What I live. Not this particular one, you can make this one yours. <laughs> but what Brett's excited to see is what's changed for 23, and you're gonna see that in the consoles up front here. We're going to fire this up and show those to you. But you can see very clean, much fewer buttons than we've had in years past, and everything is integrated on the two screens that you can control from the cockpit. So you're ready to depart and you realize you've left one light on and back, you're going to touch a button from right here without having to get up and go back there. So if there's one piece of advice I could give to a first-time RVer, or really anybody, it's to spend time sitting in the cockpit, getting familiar with your controls. The more comfortable you are, the safer you are. And so you want to sit down, get your positioning right. You're going to lower your armrests. I'm going to want to sit them where this is in my lap. And so I'm going to pull up the tilt. I'm going to tilt it down here. Telescope functions are right here. And so as you're resting on a diesel pusher, you don't want to carry tension through your shoulders. You should be completely at rest. Your foot should be easy to move from one to the other without having to lift your heel. And if you're able to maintain a driving stance like this where you can see comfortably, you're not going to carry that tension at the end of the day that you have sometimes, especially with strain on your neck. I want to be able to view all of my controls through the steering wheel, and you and I are not the same height, so you're going to adjust it differently than I do. You can actually adjust that picture on the screen to fit right within the steering wheel where you need it to be. Mine's already set because I messed with that a little bit earlier. If your pedals need adjustment, you have those right here on this screen too, and you'll notice it's easy to find. It says controls right here. So everything that you would need to make those adjustments is under one screen. Your mirrors are right here as well. 
obviously going to be very important. I can look out and see that my slide rooms are out, so I can't really make those fine-tuned adjustments right now. Go through your audio. You can set up your Bluetooth devices. You can do your climate control. One of the really important things about climate control is when you're listening to the radio, when you're using navigation, when you have other controls, you do have the manual switches for these down here, so you're not having to constantly click through buttons to make adjustments that you need. That wouldn't be safe, so it's nice to have both the manual and the digital options here. For the first time ever, we also have sync, which is something you're gonna be familiar with in your car. Maybe you and the wife run hot and cold, and so you like two different temperatures, or you just want everything to be dropped down to the coolest setting, and then turned up. And you can see that when I use the manual button, it adjusts the digital guide as well. Some other important safety features that are gonna be new for this year, if you take a look at our 360 view camera, we talked about this on the outside, is you have multiple cameras that are feeding data in, now these are going to be blinking because our slide rooms are out, so it's not going to be 100% accurate right now. But you've got three different bars on each side, and the feedback it's giving you is where it's sensing that something is in your blind spot. So you're going to have your side view camera on display here when you turn your turn signal on, and you're going to have a red bar where a car might be. The old system of having just a single frame of reference where it's mounted into your mirror, if there's somebody 45 feet behind you right here and it's at night, if it's dark, maybe it's super bright and the camera is actually catching a, a, a flare in the lens, this is giving you additional feedback. So you've got the two cameras that are integrated together on the side and then it's telling you where that uh, vehicle would be. All right, final thing is you're ready to depart and it's pet peeve time. I just sat down, I got myself in the throne, I'm ready to roll and I realized there's a light I left on back there. Well, no need to get up. I can go right here under lights. I can turn on my honor badge, which is your Integra show-off lights, I call them. I can turn on and off my dome lights up, up top. So if I'm reading a map, I can turn that off. If I want to do all my interior lights off, I'm now ready to go. If I'm backing in at night, I can turn on that docking lamp and see what I'm doing. Shades, if my shades were down, I can start to bring them up from here. I can control as many or as few shades as I want at a time by enabling or disabling. So right now, if I wanted to lower just these, the engine's running, so it's not going to allow me to do the night shades. It's only going to allow me to do the day shades. So if I want to knock out a little bit of the sun that's in my vision, I can bring those down. I don't want to get too nitty gritty here. You can see there's a lot of different functions that have been integrated. I showed you some of my favorites. Leveling is also available from the digital touch screen. Of course, you've got your phone, your lights, which we talked about. Utilities is going to be where you find your generator, and you can set up that generator to run on programs based on uh, temperature and based on when the batteries are getting low, so you can take care of that. Your step slide cover control is going to be right here, and your entry door and cargo door. Again, pet peeves of mine. Oops, I forgot to get that. i got to ask the wife to reach down there and get it. Nope, we can just hit the lock from here and take care of it. Hit the entry door lock right here, and we're good. Now I do have the overhead uh, air conditioners running, so this is popped up and I can make changes on the fly to those overhead. One of the things as we walk back we're going to talk about is Integra changed the placement of their air conditioning ducts and so it is more centered than it used to be. So if those slide rooms are in, you're getting more of that real cool air coming down directly into the center of the coach between the slide outs. So the details matter, and I mentioned this on the outside when it came to the radiator, but if the engineers thought of it, they'd love it if I point it out. So a cleaner ceiling is gonna be one of the big things you'll notice. They've changed the location of those air ducts, made them a little more centralized. We've changed the vents to all be cream colored matching the ceiling. And so even over here where you have the cover for the uh, vent fan that now matches this and it just gives a cleaner appearance as you go down the coach It just looks very very high-end. We've got our choices of flooring You can take this standard cornerstone flooring. We can also integrate if you don't like the glossy We can do a flat finish that's from uh, one of the other product lines I believe it's the anthem this year that has the flat if I'm wrong on that Please forgive me But we've got three or four different choices we can do for tiling and with the cornerstone We can make it look just the way you want cool So on the W floor plan we mentioned earlier you've got comfortable seating for large groups These are fantastic. I wouldn't even use the sleeper sofa I would rather nap on this because it's such a comfortable uh, piece of furniture you got storage in here for your magazines for your books and for things that fly around always 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 secure everything before you depart and so it's great to have a place to put those books and things you want to keep handy without having to bury them up here cup holders are right here there's also a charging port at each seat. All right, the galley is easy to use. I've got a pull out drawer here for a little bit of extra space when you need it. You can set your uh, utensils and your plates here. You can be doing your meal prep over here. We've got the nice heavy duty Corian that we can set things on here. This flips up. We've got the induction cooked up. For your oven, you have a convection 
microwave up here. Convection ovens and convection microwaves sometimes confuse people. This is an electric heating element that works just like a real oven at your house, but it has a blower on it, so it does cook a little bit faster. That is different than microwaving. This particular model gives you the function to do both at the same time, so you can mess around with that as well. But this will cook everything from a frozen pizza to a roast to reheating last night's leftovers, and it's just in one simple to use package. This next section is gonna look familiar to fans of Integra because this control panel has been here for a long time. They have upgraded the looks of it with a black frame here, but a lot of the things that you can do with the front console, you've always had the ability to do here. So you can control your slide outs, you can control your shades, you can do your lights, but again, I love the ability to kill those lights from the front seat without having to walk back here, especially when the slides are all in and you're having to kind of navigate around things. It's really cool to have this. You can control down to the nitty gritty. If you have a specific light that you want to turn off, you can turn them off individually or you can turn them all on and off at the same time. You can set the mood, have it be the way you want, and then you can set up presets too. So if you have a certain lighting that you like to have when you're watching a movie up front, maybe you like just one or two accent lights to be on, Maybe you want the bathroom light to be on and nothing else, you can set those up in here. I want to open up the midship bath, which is fully accessible with the slide rooms in. One of those engineering points I want to show out, follow me down here to see this door stop that's mounted at the bottom. That is thoughtfully placed so that when you open this door while the slide room is in, you're not going to be banging it into your refrigerator or the header on the slide room. So that is designed to hit the lip down here so that it doesn't crash in and create a problem here and here. It's the little details that get right that are important to point out. The bathroom itself is functional. I'm six foot two, 230 pounds. I have room to stretch out. I have room to brush my teeth. Yeah, and so there is storage in this model as well. Even in the midship bath, I've got a large medicine cabinet here, some skinny overhead storage here. I've got a large well back here behind the commode and then one right underneath here. Most folks are gonna be pretty familiar with the sleep number bed. We do have the remote for that and this is a true sleep number. We've got day and night shades that give you a true blackout along the sides of the slide out here. You can see the, the appointments in here are new for this year. The color scheme is very, very nice. It's timeless, it's not something that's super trendy. This is what that uh, sleep number bed looks like. At each podium here, you're gonna have a place to plug in any sleep accessories that you have, like a CPAP machine, as well as charging your phone. A couple more controls to point out. We do have electronic controls here for the lights. If you're ready for bed, you can just hit blackout. Turn that back on so we can see what we're doing. You're gonna have additional outlets here. Little things are what matter. You wanna know what you're paying for. This right here is an electronic eye. That's gonna give you access to programming for this without having to have that door open. Any sort of accessories that we run through here, we don't want you to have to get up out of bed to make changes with your clicker. You can just point it right at that and it's gonna work. So that'll control your TV as well. All right, we've got the bathroom all at one level on this floor plan, something that I really appreciate because I tend to be a little bit more clumsy. Your washer dryer is located in this cabinet. Very spacious shower, plenty of room in there. Your rain shower spray by Delta, and you also have a wand here. Cedar lined closets are not new. This is just something that has always been done well from Integra, as well as a lighted bar here so that you can actually see what your clothes are. I've been in so many older coaches where you can't even see what's in that back corner. This is something that's really helpful, especially if you're a full timer. So rather than a his and her sink, we've got a little more functional sink in my opinion. It is centered here and you have plenty of room on both sides to set your products and what you're using, but you also have plenty of places to tuck them away when you're done. So these medicine cabinets, are really large. You're gonna be able to put what you need in there. You've also got the storage down below. So you've got drawers on one side. There's actually four of those. You got a door here and you got a door here. So you've got a little bit of each kind of storage to secure what you have going on the road and then you have a his and a hers cabinet if that's how you want to divvy it up. So thank you for that very detailed review You're for welcome. the subscribers and viewers out there mm -hmm. highlighting all the changes for the 23 Cornerstone. Now if somebody's interested in purchasing one of these Cornerstones, which is still available, mm -hmm. how do they contact you? In case you forget my phone number, which by the way is 702-766 7227. Just ask for Kyle. You can always see our full inventory at nirvc.com. We also have a coach building function right on the website where you can see the different floor plans that are available. So if you're not familiar with uh, or you're not finding the piece of inventory that you want, you can see what the different floor plans are, choose your colors, and then we can get your price. So in the comments below, let us know what do you think about the new 2023 Cornerstone? And we are so impressed with an NIRVC. We really like it here. You got to come up north. <laughs> Let us good. know in the comments below. And for myself, MJ, Kyle, Brett, who's off to our. <laughs> 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 it's, it's the journey of the lifetime, and we'll see you on the road.